about that. You know, we just probably killed George Washington, didn't we? We went right through his face. But you know, God will answer prayers. Let's pray that God will heal George. God, please heal George Washington. You know what? I think God just healed George Washington to us. I bet we could look at George and there's not a hole in him. That's how God answers prayer. Look at this. We unfold it. And there's George without a hole. But we know the pencil went through, don't we? Another way we know that is because the card has a hole in it. There's a hole in the card right there, but there's no hole in George, is there? Is there any hole there? Do you see a hole? No, no hole there at all, is there? Simple trick to show that the power, the power of prayer, prayer really does work. What you do is you can take any, any card you'd like. <clears throat> we'll use this one. And, again, you fold it in half, like so. All you need is a dollar a card and a pencil. Don't even have to put the marks on it. Fold it in half, like so. And I draw the mark on there just so that I can say I'm aiming at something, aiming at that bullseye right there. Then what I do is I fold my dollar in half. But what the people do not know that I have done before uh, to this dollar, let me see this, is I have put a little slit in it. Right here, you can see, try to hold it still here, there is a little slit in the paper so that my pencil can go through. However, when you're normally looking at it, and of course you cover it up with your thumb, you ask them to look at George Washington. So when they look at George Washington, they don't see the slit that's under your thumb. But there's actually, I've taken a, taken a knife and actually cut a slit right there in the paper. So that when I fold it in half, and fold this in half. Actually, what I'm doing while I'm inside this card is I am simply going in that little piece, that little slit right there. Right there, I just actually go in. And that's all I do, and I just cover it up with the rest of the dollar. So really, all it's doing is, show you to you without the card, is going through that slit, and it's not at all going through George Washington. It's not going through the dollar. All it does is go through the card and poke the hole in the card. So, you can make it look like it's going through the dollar. When actually, all you're doing is going through the card. And there you have it. George Washington is not hurt at all. He's just... All right, for this next trick, we have five UNO cards stacked up right here so that you can see them. And we even have them numbered one through five. Now, you cannot see what these cards look like, can you? But I can see what each one of these cards are. And I have a stack of UNO cards right here. And some of the cards in here will match the cards that are back here. Now, I am going to, out of these cards, try to pick out a card that you are going to choose. See, I can tell my telepathy, which card you will pick. I know right away which one you're going to pick, even though you haven't picked it yet. And I think that you will pick this card right here. That's the card I believe that you're going to pick. Now I'm going to set that right there. Don't look at that. We're going to save that and see if I am correct, if that's the card that you picked. I'm not going to touch that card, okay? I want you to make sure that card stays right there. Nobody's going to touch it. Now, Stephanie, I'd like you to pick one of the cards, numbers one through five. What number would you like to pick? One. Number one. This right here is the card that you would like. Is that correct? Now, Stephanie, you could have chosen any of these cards, couldn't you? You could have chosen any of them, but you didn't. You chose number one, didn't you? Set number one back down here. Now, Stephanie, I made a prediction of what I thought your card was going to be. Turn that card over and let's see what I thought your card would be. What did I think it was going to be? A two. A, what color? A red two. You th I thought it was going to be a red two. And let's see what color your card was. It was the red two. Out of those cards, I got the red two. See, just like I knew what card you were going to pick, God knows what you're going to choose in life before you even choose it. He knows exactly what's going to happen in your future. And he can tell what's going to happen. And the thing we need to do is trust God for our futures. 
this trick really is very simple. It's easy to do, and anyone can do it, but it takes a little bit of preparation. All you need is your cards, any normal cards, but you got to get five packs of the card. You see, I needed a whole bunch of red twos because that's the card that I wanted you to pick. And you'll notice each one of these cards has half of a card glued to it. All I have done is glued, cut, cut a card in half, and glued it with rubber cement right on top of half of a red two. So the bottom of these is each the red number two. Now I don't show you that though. I put those in the in the uh, in the stack like this, and you can make. This, I made this out of a piece of wood. You could use anything. This is the bottom of a file folder, and just some electrician's tape around it. You can use anything you want. Make sure you cut the file folder high enough so that uh, the card will be covered. Uh, all the way up, even over halfway is a little better, just so that you're sure the person's not going to see it. Um, but you stack the cards in like this, and then you already know which card they are going to pick. You have to have that card available, because, and then you just have a stack of cards sitting there, and you pick out that card. You're going to set it down. Then they pick any card they want. I'm going to show you what I see. They pick any card they want. When they pick the card, say you picked this one right here, I would simply pick it up and say, so you picked this card right here, which this is what I see. You don't see this. All you see is that. I say, so you picked this card right here. Then I turn it around and show you that you could have picked any of these cards, which look all look like different cards. But underneath, we know that it's, they're all the red, too, if we want them to be. Then I turn this one over like this so you can't see it. I put it in there upside down. Then I say, okay, now let's check and see which card I predicted you would get. You turn it over, and I predicted you were going to get the red, too. And when I turn it around, sure enough, you had gotten the red two, which you would have always gotten the red two if we had turned the card over right. Correct? Correct. So it's a very simple trick that you can use a couple of different things. You can. That's why I had the red two. That's why you had the red two. And you can you just simply rubber cement half of a card on, and uh, make make some kind of holding device, something to hold the cards that'll stand up, and you're ready to do some magic. All right, Stephanie, for the next trick, I have in this envelope some coins. I have some coins as well as, dump them out here, as well as a dollar bill. Now, these, I have four different coins here. I have a quarter, I have a penny, I have a nickel, and I have a dime. Four different coins. Now, I would like, I think I'm, I would be able to tell which coin you will pick. Out of these four, I think I know which one you're going to pick. I'd like you to simply pick any coin you want, any one of the four. You take the quarter. Okay. Now I have written down a prediction of what coin you were going to pick. And I knew that you were going to pick the quarter. Now you say, how did you know I was going to pick the quarter? Because it costs much. Because it costs as much? No. You see, you use mental telepathy. And you can tell, and I even wrote on the back of this, I wrote that you would choose the quarter. I knew you would choose the quarter. Now, you might say, well, you probably wrote that on the back of there, all of them. No, I didn't. All I have are regular coins. I knew that you were going to choose the quarter. And I even wrote it down for you. You will choose the quarter. All right, Stephanie, would you like to see how to do that trick? Really, it's very simple. You let a person choose one of the four coins. And they choose the coin. It really doesn't matter what they choose because you have written down a prediction. If they choose the penny, you have predicted that they would choose the penny. If they choose the dime, you have predicted that they would choose the dime. If they choose the nickel, you have simply predicted you will choose the nickel. And if they choose the quarter, it's on the back of the quarter. You will choose the quarter. Very simple trick. All you, to, all you need for the trick is a dollar bill, and you write on it uh, with a little sticky thing. You will choose the penny. On uh, one side, you write, you will select the nickel.